I bought this pinball game and watch off eBay. It was sold as faulty with the top screen not working properly. And I've opened it up and I can immediately see the problem. Can you see the problem? Hmm. It already had batteries in, which was nice. And it does work. But you can see there's some digits missing up here. And basically all this side of this top screen doesn't work. There you go, the ball's over on the left there, you can't see it. Now I don't know how easy this is going to be to repair. I'm guessing not very. It's fully ripped. So let's take this apart and let's see how difficult it's going to be. Let's shout out the Holy Hand Grenade patrons while I'm doing this. Tidder, Ellis Garbutt, Jamrag Berlin, Oz Newton and One Jockey. Thank you very, very much for your support. And for everyone else who supports me, it is much appreciated. Alright, there we go. Oh, it's, it's very clean. This zebra connector appears to be stuck to this. Right, well that came off okay, I think. I hope I've not damaged it. Some remnants still on the zebra connector there. Yeah, I'm wondering whether... I can potentially repair this and move this down a bit, you know, so we're using, or move it this way, so we're using this, the very end, because it was connected here. Does that make sense? Makes sense in my head. <laughs> Is it meant to have stickers on here? Mm, don't know. Right, what am I going to do with this? Okay, so... Let's test this one here. That's that one. It goes to there. 0.6 mega ohms. So let's test the one next to it. Right, nothing. So that was definitely broken. The one this side. 5.2 kilo ohms. 5 kilo ohms. Right, so they should be in the around 4 kilo ohms. So I'm guessing from this point here, where it's mega ohms. So from here down to here. That's where it needs, yeah, where well, you can see the rip, so why am I saying that? So how am I going to fix this? That is the question. Can I just scrape this back? I've got some conductive paint, which I've never used yet. So what I'm thinking is put some Captain Tape behind it to strengthen it, to keep it together. Scrape it here. Apply some conductive paint so that the tracks carry on. I, mm, and then once I've done that, I can tape over the top of it. And if that bit isn't visible, if I can move it down slightly in the in the housing, then it won't be under flex. Hmm. Let's try it. Oh, good as new. Right, here's a conductive paint. Like I say, I've never used it before, so I don't really know. It's like a pen. Hmm. Don't know how this is going to work. Let's, let's find out. How do you get it going? Oh. Yeah, I mean, I don't think this is working. Yeah, this is like a pen, it's not paint. So I think paint would probably have worked better. I can still see the, still see the gap there. Right, what do I do? Maybe I could scrape some of this away. Let's do it on this one, which where I've already started. You can see there, it looks like it's got another crack there that's probably going to fail very soon. I mean, can I solder this? Or is this just, is, it, is the solder just going to destroy this? I'm going to try a very, very thin layer of solder. This is all trial and error. Hmm. 
No, it's melting. Right, so that's not going to work. Yeah, I've basically completely burnt that one away. I'm taking the pen apart because I can't get the ink, the pen bit to work, so I'm just going to try and take the ink out of it using my tweezers, which does seem to actually work. I mean, it's not great. <laughs> I might get better with this, though, with a bit of practice. I've got absolutely no idea whether that's going to work. It looks an absolute mess, but bear in mind it is zoomed in quite a lot. <laughs> right, I'm just going to let that dry and see how terrible it is once it's dry. Right, it's all done, but I don't think this is going to work. So if we look at this one here as an example, the reading's in the mega ohms, so I'm getting 1.4 mega ohms. Let's just pick another one. This one. 15 mega ohms that one so I yeah I mean I don't think they're gonna work obviously the resistance of the conductive paint is massively different to whatever this stuff is is it like carbon or graphite I don't know I mean I'll pop it in and see if it's gonna work but I just don't think it will yeah we still got the we've still got the missing part of the screen up here so it's not worked hey you can sort of see that flipper there you see that Mm, but it's not it's not right uh, I don't know what to do if anyone's got any suggestions for a, a better way of doing this rather than conductive ink that would be very useful in mean, my limited knowledge I don't really know I can't think of any other way of doing it I mean you could try a pencil but a pencil is not going to stick is it maybe you can get graphite ink I don't know can you I think for now I've got a donor console which is this Donkey Kong 2 and I'm assuming the ribbon cable is going to be the same. So I'm just going to take this ribbon cable out of here and swap it over. And then we'll see if this comes to life. So let's take it all apart again. Let's take the ribbon cable out of this. Stick it in this. Let's see what happens. Fade. Nice. Much, much better. And as usual, I am terrible at this game. Shaw plays a mean pinball. Ever since I was a young boy, I played the silver ball. From Soho down to Brighton. I must have played them all I ain't seen nothing like him In any amusement hall The deaf, dumb, and blind kid Sure plays a mean pinball 